Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Before we get to the video I'd just like to say a quick thank you to Nathan Lee for suggesting the topic of today's video, which is a look at Graham Hick's first and only powerlifting meet and highlights from his recent strongman career. Graham Hicks was born on the 15th of November 1985 in the small English seaside town of Morecambe, Lanarkshire. Graham's first venture into sport was as a footballer. Later on he started weightlifting as a bodybuilder before venturing into strongman in around 2010 when he competed in the under 105kg or 231 pound weight class. Graham would go on to compete at several under 105kg strongman competitions in 2010, taking 7th place at North England's Strongest Man and 3rd place at England's Strongest Man. He gained a lot of experience in his first year of competition and would return in 2011 to win the under 105kg North of England's Strongest Man, England's Strongest Man and Britain's Strongest Man. Graham would move to the open weight class in 2012 where he would compete against guys much bigger than himself. I mean you done well down in Swindon but that was 105, I mean yeah. this is a step up, this is this is a big boys as they say, you know. Yeah, so, it's different it's yeah. experience though isn't it? Yeah so, it is, yeah. Experience, so I'm looking forward to it. He would end up taking fourth place at the English qualifiers for Europe's Strongest Man which would earn him an invitation to Britain's Strongest Man. Graham would end up taking fourth place at his first ever Britain's Strongest Man, finishing behind Lawrence Gearing, runner-up Terry Hollands and winner Uncle Loz. This would earn him an invite to the World's Strongest Man. Graham got his campaign off to an excellent start by winning the opening event. Unfortunately, he would slip down the placings in further events and fail to make the finals. This would be a cycle that would repeat for following years in 2013, 2014, 2015 and 2018. Graham would have far more success at a national level when he finished runner-up to Eddie Hall at Britain's Strongest Man in 2014 and 2018, before going on to win the competition in 2019 which would be the start of a very successful couple of years. The win automatically qualified Graham for that year's World's Strongest Man. However, shortly after winning the Brits, Graham started to debate whether he should compete in a full powerlifting meet in 2019 and receive plenty of positive encouragement. I believe shortly after this post, Graham would start to talk with the Australian strength coach Sebastian Orib. He would attend his workshop in April. Just nine days later, a post was officially released on Instagram confirming that Graham would indeed be competing in his first ever powerlifting meet at Big Dogs 4 and he would be working with the Australian strength coach Sebastian Oreb. Graham would compete at the UK Strongest Man on the 26th of July, where he would unfortunately injure his ankle during the super yoke, but would fight through the pain to finish runner-up behind eventual winner Paul Benton. Graham returned to heavy training less than three weeks after suffering his injury. He's seen here deadlifting 395 kilograms raw, followed by a 375 kilogram squat, in preparation for Big Dogs 4 that was now just over 10 weeks away. Over the next few weeks, he would receive help and a little bit of extra advice from Andy Bolton and Big Loz. You're all right, come on! Yes! Yeah. 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 About two weeks before the competition, Graham travelled to Australia to climatise and receive face-to-face -face coaching from Sebastian Oreb at the base gym. Graham arrived at Big Dogs 4 on the 2nd of November, weighing in at his heaviest ever body weight of 164 kilograms. Graham started his campaign with a squat of 400 kilograms or 882 pounds. The weight moved smoothly and he received three white lights. After a successful first lift, he increased the weight to 420 kilograms or 926 pounds for his second attempt. This time, two out of the three judges awarded a good lift. With two good lifts in the bag, Graham would increase the weight for his third and final attempt to 440 kilograms or 970 pounds. The lift looked considerably more difficult, but Graham managed to keep the weight moving to be awarded a good lift. Graham's 440kg or 970lb squat in wraps gives him the 20th highest squat of all time in the super heavyweight class. 
The next lift is a bench press and Graham opens with his first attempt of 270 kilograms or 595 pounds. He manages to keep the weight moving and receives three white lights. After his successful first lift, Graham ups to weight for his second attempt to 275 kilograms or 606 pounds, but due to a slight weakness on the left side, he fails to lift. Following a near miss on the second attempt, Graham keeps the weight at 275 kilograms or 606 pounds for his third attempt. Unfortunately, he spent all of his energy on his second attempt and fails to lift. Graham's 270 kilogram or 595 pound bench press is the 33rd highest raw bench press of all time in the super heavyweight class according to openpowerlifting.org. Graham's first attempt in a deadlift was for 380 kilograms or 838 pounds. The weight absolutely flies up with no problem at all. For his second attempt, he takes on 390 kilograms or 860 pounds, which again moves very quickly and Graham gets three white lights. For his third and final attempt, Graham takes on 402.5 kilograms or 887 pounds, and again the weight moves very quickly and his back's definitely strong enough, but unfortunately, as is often the case in powerlifting, his grip isn't. Graham's second successful deadlift of 390 kilograms or 859.8 pounds gives him the 24th all-time highest deadlift in the super heavyweight class. Graham's combined squat, bench press and deadlift give him a combined total of 1,100 kilograms or 2,425 pounds, which is exactly the same total achieved by Hatfor Bjornsson approximately a year earlier, which gives Graham Hicks the 10th highest all-time total in the super heavyweight class. But the winner of powerlifting competitions is judged by who has the highest dot or wilt score, which is a measure of strength in relation to body weight. And as Graham weighed over 70 pounds less than Hatfor, he wins this by a country mile, finishing in 11th place on the all-time list in the super heavyweight class. Some of the success that Graham had in 2019 would carry over to 2020. And while he wouldn't win any competitions, he would have some very good results. Firstly, at Europe's Strongest Man, where he finished just off the podium in fourth place, and set a new British log press record by pressing 220 kilograms in some very blustery conditions. By finishing Europe's Strongest Man in fourth place, Graham automatically qualified for the World's Strongest Man, where, for the first time ever, he made it out of his qualifying group and into the grand final. Unfortunately, he suffered an injury in the very first event when he tore his bicep. This meant he was no longer able to proceed and finished in 10th place, making him officially the 10th World's Strongest Man. Well, that pretty much covers Graham Hicks' strongman and powerlifting career, but I just thought I'd point out that shortly after he competed at Big Dogs 4, he did make the following Instagram posts that do hint that he will be making a return to powerlifting in the future. Please leave a comment below letting me know how you think Graham will get on in strongman and powerlifting over the next few years. I've left links to his social media in the description so please check that out and give him a follow. If you enjoyed today's video please help support my channel by clicking like, sharing the video and subscribing. Thank you.